In this video, we're going to be recording some bass guitar using the Stark Amp Simulator here in GarageBand on the iPad. So, let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, the Stark Amp Simulator by Clev Grand is a great new amp simulator. I tested it out just a little while ago using my guitar, but today I'm going to put it to the test with some bass guitar. I've got a new song I'm working on. It's got a pretty cool bass line, if I do say so myself. So I'm going to see if I can get a cool sound out of the Stark Amp Sim. Let's dive in now and take a look. Oh, and just so you know, we'll be using this, the standard 3.5mm jack iRig, the original, which means we're not using any fancy gear here. If you do want to learn how to connect up your guitars to your iPhone or your iPad, check out the video linked up the top there and down in the description. Now, this is a groove here in GarageBand that I laid down using my iPhone and just a pair of headphones a couple of days ago. If you want to check that video out, check the link up there or in the description. At the moment, it sounds like this. And what I want to do today is I want to replace the bass groove that I just laid down with my acoustic, which sounds like this. Because that is actually going to be the bass guitar. So I thought, what better way to test out the Stark Bass Amp Simulator than to actually record a bass part for my new track. So to use Stark, we're going to tap in the bottom left here and we're going to select the audio recorder. Now remember, if you haven't checked out the previous video, Stark is an AUV3 plugin. So what we need to do is go into audio recorder, go more sounds, fun and clean, tap on that sucker there. And here we are in a clean track. Now, if we just want to start playing, we just tap the monitor on in the bottom right corner and and we have our bass ready to go. Now, I normally tell you to keep the input volume down low, but with a bass, you can see here that it's not sending a lot of signal through, especially because I'm just using my iRig here. I can't turn up the gain. So I'm going to need to use pretty much full gain to get enough volume through into the garage band here. So that is all set up, but it's just a standard tone. It's not going to sound very good. So what I can do is I'll tap on the mixer icon here in the top. Now, if you're on an iPhone, it'll be in your top right, potentially tap on the settings, go into your track settings here. Plugins and EQ is where we want to go. And then we want to tap edit. Now we want to tap on the plus button here and then tap on audio unit extensions, scroll down and tap on Stark and instantly you're going to hear that we've got an amp on this track now. And we're good to go. But this is going to be our default guitar amp. We want to dial in some bass amp settings. So we're going to tap on our little moon icon here. I kind of think it looks a bit like Pac-Man, but that's just me. And what we want to do is dial in a, a preset. So I'm going to just test out a few presets here today, as opposed to spending, you know, an hour <laughs> testing out different sounds. You don't want to see me noodling for an hour. Uh, let's tap on the bottom right here. And we've got all of our guitars, all of our keys, but the last three here are our bass presets. So if we tap bass clean, we can go into our clean bass. So if we tap on, say, American, we get a, a American amp sound, which is a pretty cool sound. We've got different presets there as well, like one, two, and three for clean. We can go to a more of a British sound. So a little bit less sort of crunchy there, a little bit cleaner tone. Uh, one of the ones I like is the modern pop here. Whoops, I pressed the wrong one, not the jazz box. We'll try the jazz box. And obviously I'm using a pick here. I could be like... I could use my, my fingers or my, uh, or my thumbs, but I'm not a very good bass player and playing with a pick disguises my bad bass playing. Uh, let's tap on Neo Soul here. And we get a, another cool tone. So there's some really good clean bass tones that we can we can incorporate in here and we can play along with. Now, we'll probably need to even turn the gain up a little bit because you'll probably notice that that's... But that's the good thing is we have all of these controls here. We can change the game. We can change the output. We can make it sound good. So, and you'll see there we've got a little asterisk next to Neo Soul now because that's changed the preset and we can save these presets too. Maybe we'll show you that a bit later as well. So we'll tap over here. I'm going to try out some of these bass overdrive tones, not effects, overdrive. There we go. Um, now, with the overdrive tones, if you hit on number three, you're likely to get some feedback because they throw some pretty intense distortion on there. So word of warning, turn down your gain, maybe take your headphones off before you hit number three. So I'm going to instead hit number one here. 
And you can see over here on the left, we've got our drive on. So we can turn it clean to drive, but this preset has the drive on. And we've got a more of an overdriven tone. Let's tap it again. Let's check out our uh, bandasso here. Uh, bu bubba bosso? I'm not, yeah, I'm not a bass player, so I don't even know what that means. That's a pretty cool tone. That's in that's in the running for this. Uh, that that might be right up there. Uh, what was the one that I played with before? So we've got the British ones here too. Again, careful not to press the three unless we want to blow our heads off. We've got a British tone there. But I think the one I liked was the heavy lows. So let's uh, turn that one on. I like a bass with a lot of bass. I know that sounds weird, but you can see here on this one, we've got the bass and the mids are both dialed in pretty heavily here. The treble's a bit less there and we've got it quite, uh, we've got the bass up, the gain up quite a bit. We can turn the gain up even more if we wanted to. Or we can uh, level it off a little bit there. Now, don't worry if your bass tone is sounding like it's got, you know, some artifacts in there, a little bit of amp, hiss or hum, or it's not as clean as you'd like it. A lot of folks overdo the fact that they need a clean bass tone. You don't really, if you listen to solo tracks of like Flea and some of the best rock and punk and, and uh, grunge bass players, they're not going to sound that clean. And once you put it in with some guitars, some vocals, some drums, it's going to be fine. So don't stress too much about a clean bass tone. Or maybe I'm saying that because my bass tones are never that clean. All right. So I think, I think that's a really good sort of tone that we've got there. If we wanted to make it nuts, we could tap the drive button here and we could get a, we could get that. I almost played a Israel Sun. That's got a really cool bass line, but I'll get a copyright strike. Silver chair, Israel Sun. Check it out. Great tune. Uh, so what we want to do, let's let's say we want to save this as a preset. Well, down at the bottom left here, we've got our presets option here and nothing is home at the moment. But if we tap on that, we can tap save and we can call this a preset. So we'll just call this, I, I don't even know, uh, low Pete. <laughs> Good old low Pete. Can't even spell. Low Pete is done. We'll hit done on that one. So now if we ever want to just dial in my preset, we can actually come in here. We can tap on Low Pete and it's going to load up this one, except I realized I've left the drive on. So I want it to be clean. Oh, well. Low Pete's going to be my, my Israel Sun one. All right. So we're set up here. We're ready to record. That's nice, but you don't want to just hear the tones, right? You want to actually hear these in action. So we're going to hit on done and let's record a pass of this baseline. But first we want to come back to our track view. We want to get rid of the original guitars here. So let's mute out the guitar. Let's mute out the original bass groove and let's just play along with our drum beat. So we're going to hit record and record in a pass of this bass sound. Hit record. All right, we'll hit the play button, which will pause us, and we're good to go. We can now come back to our track view here, and here is our bass track. If anything, I probably could have pumped the gain and the volume up and the output a little bit more, because it's a little bit quiet there, but that's okay. We can experiment with this as we go. But let's bring our guitar back into the mix here, and let's play along and see what this bass groove sounds like through the Stark amp with the rest of our track. I really like that. I think once we get some electric guitars with a bit of distortion, start throwing some vocals over the top, I think that's going to actually sound pretty cool. Let's uh, come down to this section here where we do our sort of second, uh, second type of riff and see what this sounds like.
Yeah, I just, I love the, the, the Stark Amp Stim. It just sort of reacts more like a real amp. And because you have all of those different settings you can dial in, you can dial in the room size, the cab type, all of those settings, it just gives you that precise control. The other thing that a lot of folks are asking me is, yes, buying Stark is $20 US and it's about $30 here in Australia and your price will vary. Why would you buy it over just using the standard amp sims and it's a good question because the amp sims here in GarageBand are really good you just don't have quite the level of control that you have so if you want to really dial in a custom tone the amp sims here in GarageBand aren't going to quite do it for you but let's just do a quick test of these because we want to test this out we'll come in here and we'll add a bass amp track to this song now one that I like to use for this same sort of sound is we're going to the distorted here and let's bring in the generation bass which uses a flip top amp and has a few settings dialed in here to get a bit of a crunchy sound. What we can now do is go back to our track view, back, back to the track, and we'll copy this, tap, tap it again, hit copy. We'll come to the very front of our track, we'll tap this one and we'll paste it in here. Now, let's just take a listen to this same bass part played through the bass amp here in GarageBand and then we'll switch it back and play you so you can hear a difference between one of the Stark amp sims and one of the GarageBand ones. Here's GarageBand. And let's swap it over now to the Stark amp sim. Stop that one. Now, I know what you're going to say, Pete, you haven't dialed these in using the exact same settings. You could probably get a very similar sound to the Stark amp with the GarageBand amp, and you're probably right. And again, there's nothing wrong with the GarageBand amps. I use them. I have been using them in my tracks for probably close to five years, and they do a great job. What I love about Stark, though, is that it's got a simple interface there. You can dial in exactly what you want. You can save in your presets, which you can do in the regular amps as well. But yeah, just the ability to have the, the stereo width there, your cabinet your room size you can change out you got a bunch more different pedals that you can use in here you've got a great compressor pedal in there as you can hear there you can use your clean and your overdriven tones and you can switch between those really easily so there's a lot of cool stuff here however we're not done because this is just sort of part one i'm going to explore stark right through the creation of this song i'm going to use it for the bass i'm going to throw some guitars at it and even some keys so if you want to hear and see more about stark then stay subscribed to the channel and look out for more videos coming coming soon or if you're in the future check the links in the description because they might already be there thanks again for watching happy creating there you have it it's all about the bass about the bass no treble in this one sorry i couldn't resist it there is two more videos linked down below there one of those is the original stark app simulator review and another video you might find interesting you can subscribe by clicking or tapping in the top right there and i hope to see you on the next video